ready start what will be the remaining amount will depend obviously only on issuance of demand notice the cumulative effect of the conditions as prescribed under the government orders of 2002 2010 and 2011 is that there will be an amount due only when a demand is raised and then since government order of 2011 does not dilute the condition of 90 days deposit and the government order dated 28 9 does not state that it is being issued in supersession of earlier government orders of 2002 and 2010 it will be deemed that a period of 90 days to deposit the amount after the demand is raised is well within the prevalent free hold policy in respect of najul land even in 2012 and is so apparent from the demand notice dated 271-2012 impugned in the present repetition it does not appeal to reason or logic to even think that on one hand the government would provide for 10% discount in the event of deposit of the entire payment raised in 90 days in one go it will still charge interest on the amount raised in the demand notice even though it becomes due only when demand is raised it would be equally illogical that government would not give any interest on the amount deposited 10 years back and yet will charge interest on the remaining amount from the date of submission of the application even without there being any demand notice this in our considered opinion amounts to penalty which is not permissible in a law in the event of no fault on the part of a party from whom the interest is being demanded the law of interest is also very much clear that interest is chargeable only when an amount has become due and payment thereof is defaulted and an amount becomes due when it is either raised as demand or is prescribed as condition to be paid after assessment either of the conditions are not present in the case in hand as neither the demand was raised in 2008 nor any such condition was prescribed to deposit the entire amount by self assessment what was required to be deposited by self assessment was 25% amount of the 40% on the basis of circle rate and which was very much deposited in the present case from the above discussion it can safely be concluded that the amount became due only on 27 1 and that too after expiry of period of 90 days that any interest or penalty can be charged or delayed payment we find that 90 days period expired in the present case on 26 4 the entire amount of rupees 1 crore 58 lakhs 8723.40 paise which was balance amount as raised in demand notice dated 27 1 was deposited by the petitioner on 12 4 well within 90 days and so in our considered opinion there was no occasion to charge interest from the petitioner on any balance amount for which the demand was raised only on 27 1 in view of the above we hold that charging of interest from the petitioner on the balance amount for granting free hold rights for which the demand was raised only on 27 1 even at 15% simple interest was highly illegal and arbitrary and therefore to that extent we are questioning the demand notice since free hold rights have already been conferred upon the petitioner by executing free hold deed on 23 11 no other relief is required to be granted stop
subscribe to our youtube channel short and dictation legal matters but never forget to hit on like icon and share with your friends